This show contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. answer. What do you mean? Who shouldn't I trust? Quinn? I'm here, Sam. I'm okay. Oh, good. For now. Good. So what's this about? Don't trust who? Don't trust anybody. Listen, I, I don't know what I don't know what situation I'm in right now. I, all I know is that there's some really bad people involved. I think they're connected to <sighs> way too many others. So you can't trust anybody. You gotta find out information without giving anything away. If they find out you're connected to me, then I fear it's gonna end just as bad for you. So please, stay out of the light, Sam. Sure. I'll make sure nobody knows. Quinn, I don't fucking care what it takes, I'm going to find you. Sam, don't start sounding like a cheesy movie. <laughs> I know you will, brother. I just don't want anything to happen to you. It's because of me you're here. Seriously, Quinn, after everything you've fucking done for me, I'm the older brother. I'm the one who's supposed to look after you, not the other way around. All those debts you helped me get out of because of my fucking drug and gambling problem. You were there for me, brother. You got me out of possible fucking deaths. You have no idea who I was dealing with. So yeah, I'm here for you. I'm gonna fucking find you. I'm gonna kill whoever's got you. Fair enough. Thank you, Sam. Listen, uh, I think I'm ready to know. Could you tell me what happened to my wife and my kid? Ah, oh, Quinn, uh, um, they, um, they didn't make it. Did they suffer? Did they go peacefully? It's complicated, brother. I'd rather tell you when I find you, okay? Yeah, I suppose you're right. We gotta focus on other things right now. So, um, yeah. I don't know who they are. I have no idea. Sam, I I'm just, I'm stuck in here. Somehow they didn't find my radio. So I still got that, but I don't know for how long. Uh, who are you talking to in there? Oh, hold on. Nobody, I'm fine. I, I just, I get lonely. Hit back against the wall. No, there's nothing, there's nothing here. There's, there's nothing. Oh shit, Quinn. I gotta find you. I can't do it alone. Knowing that my brother's alive, I now needed more than ever people on my side. Following my brother's advice, not letting anybody know about the situation. Not even Buddy. Hasn't been easy for anyone. But I'm still so surprised that... I mean no disrespect by this, but someone of your stature that is still alive today. Hats off to you. That is commendable. <laughs> you probably had the right people around you keep you that way as well. I mean, you don't even have a gun in your back. <laughs> oh, I, I make it a point to keep a few trucks up my sleeve and just, uh, I'm quick on my feet. That's the most of it. I mean, if I see trouble, I keep my head down and just book it out of there. I'm pretty good with words, so I can, uh usually talk my way out of things, but people uh, of like-minded scenarios like us, we should, uh, we should definitely be watching each other's backs. The more the merrier, and uh, I live my life one day at a time. It's, uh, it's difficult nowadays, and uh, if you get your head wrapped around too many dangerous things, then, well, you might not wake up the next morning. But uh, I have been in contact with some friends, and uh, well, to be quite blunt, I, I think that you're uh, 
you're, you're like-minded, just like them. I think you'd fit in quite well if you're interested in meeting with them at some point. And who exactly is them? Oh, honestly, yeah. They don't even really have a name or anything that they call their organization. They've only just uh, approached me on it quite recently. And when I met a few of them, they, uh, they seemed pretty straight. It's hard to find good friends. People you could trust. That's just becoming more and more rare. A luxury, really. Having that one good person by your side, at least one, you know? You could say you could trust that person. It's hard. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you, buddy. You look nice. You're young. Not a threat to me. I think I could take you down in a second, to be honest. Still, I can't seem to take my mind off the fact that you can stab me in the back any moment. Even if I saved your life. I I'm just... I'm sorry, I'm rambling here. I don't mean to make you uncomfortable or anything either. Y you get what I mean, this world just changes our perspective, our way of thinking, of acting, and choosing. It's the hardest thing you can do now. We're faced with many of those choices every single day, and I just hope I made the right one this time. <laughs> I, I understand where you're trying to come from, and I'm not upset about it. I don't blame you at all. I mean, you've only known me about a day and a night. It's like you said, I might be some psycho killer or a freak that has some strange late night fetish. I, I don't know, but I, I do thank you for putting your trust in me. You won't regret it. I, I hope you won't. I mean no harm to you, and goodness, it's been a while since I've had some nice company anyways. It's been nice, yes. I, I gotta agree. Usually, within 24 hours, if I've approached somebody like I've done with you, I already have a gun behind my head, so I'm happy that hasn't happened. So these people you're talking about, this group, what do they do? He went on to explain that a woman called Alexandra was leading a group of people and went around defending the innocent, kind of like what I did with Buddy. I think they should, uh, show you themselves. Uh, I can tell you right now, no nothing bad will come of it. I think they're good people. I'll take your word for it, buddy. I think it's time I, I join up with some people. I mean, I'm kind of tired of being held up, you know? I'll do it. We, uh... We could go tomorrow. We'll meet up with her. And hopefully things go well. I felt like things were finally looking up. If things could go well with this group, and if I could end up trusting them enough, then I might have a fighting chance of finding my brother. But a group of heroes? I don't know. I suppose I'll just have to play along for now. Good morning, Sam. Sorry, I kind of overslept there for a bit. That's fine. Just, uh, kept watch here. Yeah, so, uh, I think today's a good day to meet this group of other people you speak of. Already. I recently got a radio call from her, actually, and well, she'd like us to head north from here, north to east, to uh, the town of Novi. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that area of the country. Dumb fucking helmet. Oh, shit. Remember the horseman? I was right there in that area, so I know my way. In fact, I think I'm looking in the right direction right now. Oh, goodness, uh. I'm not gonna stop you then, uh, after you, please. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, fun fact, when I first spotted you, I was right behind this tree right here. Well, uh, again, that's something I'm incredibly thankful for. Yeah, it's alright, buddy. The shit stain has been cleaned anyway. <laughs> it is now the past. Even so, one day... I'll pay you back somehow. Well, it took all damn day, but we made it to Novi Sabor. She wanted to meet in a junkyard just north of it. As we're making our way there, I start having my doubts. That's always just my instincts kicking in, I suppose. You can never be too careful. Seems quiet. Hmm. I hope that's a good thing. Yep. Yeah. Do you hear that? I understand. Yep. That sounds like a girl. Come out. Oh 
hold your fire. Introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Dylan. Nice to meet you. Oh, hello, Dylan. Uh, you can call me Buddy, and uh, this here is my good friend Sam. Do we have to be so far away? I think not. No, no, no. Uh, what was your name again? Uh, Alexandra. Nice to meet you. And what is your name again? Sam. Sam Bauer. Sam Bauer. What? What? Uh, it's... I'm sure it's nothing. You healed the body? He sure did. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Of course. But he a good guy. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I think he's, uh, like-minded in the ways that, uh, you're looking for. Oh, really? How so? I guess, when I was talking with Buddy, I let him know that I do not like scum. I don't like people who go around deciding for other people, killing, stealing, or you name it. I want to eradicate that problem. But he said, you guys are like-minded. Mm. Listen. I might not look like a guy you trust right now, but let me remind you, I did save somebody you know. Would a bad person do that? If I was bad, I would sit behind the lines, watch the kids suffer, probably eat some goddamn popcorn with that. But he's alive. I think that speaks for itself. Sometimes they say good things just fall right into your lap. And to be honest, I, I like your mentality. Good. Definitely good. You found a good man about me. Uh, you see, it's almost too good to be true that you would just come here. You can understand why I'm a bit skeptical. Uh, we are a threat. We are creating a domino effect. More groups like us are being created. All because of this organization. People want us dead of it. People already seem to want me dead anyway. What's the difference? Now I get people on my side helping me. If I'm looking over the right, you're looking to the left. Right. I'm gonna be straight with you. We're very understanding people. Uh, we always deem everybody innocent until proven guilty. What we do is we see it with our own eyes first. We trust our own men. We do not believe words of mouth. That is bullshit. There's always two sides to every story. Now tell me, are you a leader or are you a follower? Sheep or wolf? I lead, madam. I lead myself. People want to follow. That's fine. But I'm always going to lead myself. That's how I stayed alive. Perfect. So, I can count on you in order to make sure that people are in line and make sure that we're doing our job. Sure can. Now here's what I got for you. You see, recently, before I bumped into Buddy here, I accidentally bumped into some people which I'm pretty sure you've heard of. They're making quite the ruckus out there. They go by. The horseman. Oh, really? Uh, yes, well. Uh, um, who's that? Jack, sorry Excuse I'm late. He goes by Trader Jack. Since almost the start of all this, he's been a friend of Buddy's. Stand around and listen, okay? This is important. And who? I proceeded to tell them everything I knew about the horseman and let them know that we may have a small advantage. So. Made them feel good about themselves, what they do, that perhaps I might even need their services. Perhaps I could, you know, give them some info, of course. I was just flattering them, making them put on my good side. You know what this means, Alexandra? These bad people, if we need to do something, as long as they don't know I'm with you guys, at least not yet, I got a way in. With this information, you need to be careful with it. I want you to not mention it anymore, unless you're the rape, y'all, when you are in absolute private. You see this area? Public place, okay? You got some balls, you know, for a lady and all. <laughs> uh, I mean to interrupt, well, are you expecting any more people? Uh, no. Wait. Then I believe we have a guest over there, just in the rubble. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think I saw whoa, this fellow, I just assumed whoa, he was one whoa, of ours. Whoa, um, who, who are you? Alright. Oh, who are you? Don't mean no harm. No, 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 we're not. I know there's a lot of you. 
Hey, hey, my name is Alexandra. I'm not going to hurt you. No one's going to hurt you, sir. Honestly, you can hey, come okay. forward. We're not going to harm you. We would have already killed you by now. You're not dead. Nobody's raising a gun at you. Calm down. All right, but no funny stuff and no fast movement. Is it okay if I okay. come closer? Blue man, sure. You you can come closer. You're fine. Yeah. I've got nothing on me. Just say so you no. Know, it's it's okay. Everything's fine. You can call me buddy, okay? What's your name? My name's Morgan. Oh, Morgan, it's a pleasure to meet you on this night. You must know by now that we mean no harm, I hope. Protecting people, nothing I haven't heard before in the capital, other places. Right. So, what was your name? Morgan? Right. That's right. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Morgan. The name's Sam. These people with me right here, they're all good people. Now, you look a little sketched out. And obviously, you went through enough of your own shit, right? We're not asking you to trust us or anything, but you have been out there. You've heard us talk, and now you say it's not the first time you hear that. That's fine, but the intention, that's what matters right now. You have heard ours. Now, what is yours? Anybody who knows what they're doing anymore, who's alive, doing whatever it takes. People judge you by what they can take from you. I've lost too much. I uh, don't know. If it's worth the risk staying with you people or being here, but I guess I don't have anything else to lose anymore. Uh, your life is at risk every day. These people want to do everything they can to you anyway because they don't care. They don't give a fuck about you. So why does it matter? So why not be around people who you can see are actually doing good? Or maybe even do some good yourself? People, I guess, always abandon me. In the past, it's always been this way. Because God damned me to be the one to bury the burden all the things I've had to do in the past. We've all had to do some pretty nasty things. Even before all this, I don't know these people. Heck, Alexandria, over there, she could have been like a drug addict or something. But you know what? I don't care. Because right now, she's standing there, trying to fight for a good cause. Trying to help people. And right now is what matters, Morgan. What do you want right now? Do you want to have people you could trust around you? Or do you want to continue fearing or being all shaky and rubbing your hands like that? You could change that. These are good people. Nobody's going to force your arm to anything. You just need to trust. If you want to come along, then walk with us. If not... Stay there, and keep living a burden. You're welcome to join. And join he did. There was something different about Morgan, but he overall looked like a good man. You know, a man of courage, I'm gonna speak his mind, even in his times. That's rare, very rare. You, uh, take care of yourself. Well, you got him. You've obviously been doing that, too. You're here, with me, alive. You're stronger than you think. You gotta forget your past burdens. You're gonna live through a lot more. <coughs> and as a promise, Morgan. I mean, I ain't gonna do you no harm. But I can't promise what's gonna happen out there with other people. But one thing I can promise is if you're under our watch and I could help you, I will. Hey, uh, Roger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think of Morgan? He's a, uh, he's an interesting one. Uh, something must have happened, I just don't know what it is. I kind of feel bad for him, really. He's <laughs> trust us. That's all I really hope for. Yeah, I can't really hope for much, yes? I don't know. I just don't really like him. He's listening to us, not trying to be it. <laughs> mean or anything. That night, there was also Bobby Belmonte. He had quite the temper. More on that later. So, uh, what's the name again, fella? If you don't mind me asking. The name's Sam. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Right. We are leaving in five minutes. We're going west. Hmm. Just towing up the road. Single person, he's at full sprint. Cargo truck up ahead. Potentially big group. How's it going? Hello. Hey, How you doing? 
Not much. Just chilling. Where are you boys going? Well, just up the road from here. Well, uh, there's nothing there really, but fuck it. I'll tag along with you. I don't see why not. If you'd like to. He appeared to be drinking whiskey. Oh. Yeah, let's fucking do it. I didn't get your name, fella. That was because I didn't fucking say it. Ah, smart ass, huh? Alright. Well, not really smart ass. I mean, you fucking kind of set me up with that one, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, I did ask you for your name earlier, and you didn't give me a response. And then I asked for it again, oh, sorry. what I, I just said. I was basically talking to the nice gentleman in front of me, you know? Unlike you, he's actually cool. No hard uh, feelings. Right. What's your name, sir? Don't mind me asking. Uh, it's uh, Jesse fucking Carter. You Jesse. know, the rock star. Rockstar. Uh, I'll admit I was never much of a music person, but uh, I'll take your word for it. Oh shit. I know. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe. Did he kiss me? Had a fucking gig in town. So a girl and a fucking guy. The air was getting kind of thick. Some of us didn't trust this Jesse Carter. I can't really say that I blame him. <sighs> so listen, buddy. Uh, Who's your fucking friends back there? Well, uh, right now we're just a bunch of misfits, really. We haven't, uh, known each other very long. But, um, just a bunch of people trying to make it by, really, with the, uh, best intentions in our wits. Oh, yeah, rock on. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of me. I gotta give you that. Uh, one man comes down, says oh, there's nothing one direction, and then... What the fuck you do? You just fucking walk around? Has to... Follow... This is a trap. Yeah, I know, so two more I'm gonna be looking at. Just trying to do some work now. Hey, bitches, pick up the fucking pace, come on. Excuse me? You know, I learned pretty pretty quick that you gotta be strict. You know, like my fucking pie. Wanna say there. that again, please? Shit. <laughs> I just said. You fucking shit, come and join this posse and you're gonna be fucking disrespectful? Watch your fucking mouth in front of a lady, pal. What's that? Oh, did, did I fucking stutter, or are you just fucking retarded? Hey, oh, calm no. down. Oh, hey, hey, like hey calm down. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, you heard me, pal. You got a real fucking attitude, Mr. Fucking Star. <sighs> yeah, More like a fucking burnout, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, There's no like reason to go there. Bon there is no that a fucking reason fact, is it? to go there. <laughs> I look at this fuck. I need to say it again, or or are you just not able to comprehend what the fuck's coming out of my mouth? Let it go. Calm your temper. Calm your temper. Down. Down. I don't provoke him, please. You want me to say it again? There's no need provoke for this him. He's nonsense. Fucking bitches when he just joined the fucking party. I said it's enough. We're all people Come on. fighting the same cause. Please. Fucking calm down, Mister. Calm up down, with puppy. You? Shit, look at you. You're like y'all fucking pests. Now, sir, I, I would pressure? recommend you stop, please. There's no need to patronize here. As Buddy said, we're all fighting the same cause, all right? Now, I've noticed you've been drinking a little bit. Are you drunk right now? Yeah, that's a fact. I'm not gonna blame it on being fucking drunk. I don't know. All right, boys. This is who I am. Let's let's stop being at the playground. Let's be grown-ups, please. That's all I'm asking. I agree. There's no need for us to act like children. I guess you have a point there, miss. Right. Shit. Wait, wait. You want me to say, say I'm fucking sorry? No. No, I said it's not the playground. So I'm not gonna make you say you're sorry. Nobody hurt each other except for feelings. Let's really keep nice. it at that. Let's forget about it. Amen, brother. Hey, fucking man. We just want to live. And you're not gonna live very long. Both of you, if you flap your mouths like that all the time. Shit, you, uh, you used to be a preacher or anything? No. But I used to have my own problems. They always lead to bigger ones. We finally arrived in Cabanino. Since the place is notorious for shit going south, I thought I'd check the perimeter out. The others would go in town and around, see if we could find any people. But I think we all had a bad feeling that Jesse fucking Carter might have warned people of our arrival. You're being followed. Sure enough, there they were. They were all over the place. Hey there, stranger. Who are you talking stranger to? You. I don't know who you are. Sorry. Don't know what else to call you. 
Well, you can ask, you don't have to call me stranger. Or call me stranger, whatever a float boat. Fair enough. My name's Sam, if that matters. Hey, Sam. another one. Who's, that? Who's this guy? Uh, sounds like a... Uh, Sam. Oh, I know who you guys are. I recognize the armware. I'm a little concerned right now because I see them headed towards Sam. Oh shit, if they're gonna beef with your people, I would suggest they stay the fuck out of it. I respect your advice, but I promise to stick by Sam, so I'm going if you don't mind. By the way, horseman, since there's nobody around me right now, our little deal is still on. I'm currently getting some information, but nothing concrete yet. What about World Without Borders? You heard anything about those? No. Never heard of them. Yeah, you said you're gathering stuff. Well, tell us what you've gathered so far, pal. Word is, there's a group of people out there who think they could save the world. Apparently, they're hanging way east. Like I said, not concrete yet. I pretty much told them bullshit. Surely Sorry. you should be putting a little pep in your step and, uh, doing a little better. Yes, well, I will do my best, sir, but as far as I was concerned, I didn't owe this. I'm freely doing this. I don't mean, I, yeah, I don't mean to point the fucking elephant out in the room, but who the fuck are you, pal? You just kind of walked up, not saying shit. Don't worry about him. He's all right. He's good. He's no threat to nobody. Look at him. Does he look like a threat to you? I'm not saying he's a threat. I'm, is he a mute? I don't think he is. Morgan, say hi. Hello. So, is everything good here, gentlemen? How about this? <clears throat> So will be the terms that we leave on today. In the next few, uh, let's say, three days, I'm gonna come find you, and I expect better information than what you've given today. Come whoa, 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 now, hold on a second here. I told you what my intentions were. I am not here to cause any harm to nobody. Your business is your goddamn fucking business, not mine, all right? But I'm freely giving you some information. I told you this, and you said, you seem to all agree, if I needed help, I was gonna get it. I was getting something in return. Now how come that shit just changed? Time has changed, we have some new enemies, and now you're gonna help me get information on them. World Without Borders. Start gathering info. I was in no position to fight, so I'd just go along with it. I'm trying to be disrespectful over here, but I'd probably do what he asks. No. I could take care of myself, Jesse. Thank you. Three days, okay? I'll see what I could gather. Yeah, sounds fucking fantastic. I think we're done here, gentlemen. Y'all have a lovely day. I know where to find Happy you. Hunting. I think three days is a little generous. You fucking kidding me? It's Fuck free it. work. It's better than nothing, right? Don't push your luck. Doing what I can. Bye, Jesse. Be safe. I needed a day of my own, gather my thoughts. I let them know where I was stationed at. I would just sit out there in the woods, alone, thinking about my brother and my current shitty situation with the horseman. I didn't want to drag Buddy or the others into this, where it's going to be like back home all over again. But I need them to find Quinn. The fuck? Who the fuck are you? Ooh. Speak now! Who the fuck are you? Who am I? I'm the man uh, who's watching you sleep. Hey guys, remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to turn on the notifications so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. Thank you all so much for the support.